Hey, what's going on? It's Jack Malaco for Beard Brand. Let's talk about some of the dumbest things I've tried over the years to grow my beard faster and thicker. I've tried a lot of dumb things over the years. A lot of them have been right here on this channel. All right, do not try this part at home. Yeah, let's see. No matter how good your beard looks, no matter how long you've been putting into growing it, or grooming it, or whatever, at the end of the day, it's just hair. And it can be as easily grown as it can be cut off. Just like this. This might be a one and done. <laughs> we'll see. At least we're not doing like chest or anything. Okay, now you say the back of the arm hurts the worst, but the top right there? But the cream of the crop when it comes to mistakes in terms of my beard came back in my teenage years when I was obsessed with trying to grow a big, thick beard. So let this video serve as a little warning tale for you younger viewers. And I mean, hey, if you're older and you're still trying to grow a big, thick beard, you can take something away from this too. The first dumb thing I did to try and make my beard look thicker and fuller was pretty bad. And I did it when I was about 16 or 17 years old. I don't know where I really got this idea. I think it stemmed from watching women fill in their eyelashes and their eyebrows with mascara and pens. But for some reason, I thought that I could fill in my mustache with a pen. So naturally being the genius I was, I went to my family's junk drawer, pulled out a felt tip pen and filled in my mustache, which at the time was my weakest part of my entire beard. My issue came in two places. First of all, I sucked at anything cosmetic related. So more often than not, the felt tip pen would end up on my skin more so than my mustache hair. <laughs> You'd immediately be able to tell what I was doing if you just looked at me close up. The other issue was really stupid because I was using a black felt tip pen when my beard was brown and red colored. So even if you didn't look close and see the marks all over my skin, You'd probably know because my mustache was dark, solid black versus this reddish kind of brown that my beard naturally is. I remember I immediately stopped doing this when I was riding in the car with my mom one day and she looked at me and said, why are you putting pen in your mustache? Right after that, I stopped doing it. My next dumb thing came from a more holistic approach to trying to grow my beard. And it all stemmed from this YouTube video I saw, not on Beard Brand, by the way. The guy in the video explained that a great way to encourage beard growth was to essentially steam your pores. The example he used was to literally hold your face over a pot of boiling water. Naturally, I saw nothing wrong with this at all, so I whipped out a saucepan from my mom's collection, put it on the stove, put some water in it, and stuck my face right over the boiling water. Of course, nothing happened other than my face getting pretty sweaty. Before I move on, there is a little bit of truth to this statement, and it really comes from opening up your pores and exfoliating and cleaning the hair so that you don't end up with clogged pores and things like that. But if you're just doing what my stupid 16 year old self did and stick your face over a pot of boiling water and expect your beard to explode, nothing's gonna happen. All right, for my last mistake, I took a little bit more of a scientific approach to beard growth. I remember studying the habits of facial hair aficionado Jack Passions, specifically in his supplement process. That's because in an interview, Jack Passions said around the time of beard competitions, he'd really ramp up with the supplements that he's taking in addition to trying to push his body to a more healthy lifestyle. All I heard in this interview though, was that he was taking a cocktail of vitamins. So, went off to the drugstore came back with a big old bushel of pills, lotions, potions, and everything in there and in between. I was taking Biotin, a daily multivitamin, omega-3 fish oils, and last but not least, a pill that was guaranteed to make my beard bigger and bolder. Now, don't get me wrong, I am not a medicine basher. If you have something wrong with you and a pill, medicine, or vitamin can help you out with whatever you're going through, that's all good. But in the case of me, all I was doing was popping pill after pill and vitamin after vitamin, hoping to see some sort of progress within like a week and realistically nothing happened. Because the main issue that was going on is that Jack Passions wasn't just taking these pills for his own benefit. He was taking these in addition to working out, living a healthier lifestyle, eating right, sleeping while drinking plenty of water, when all I was doing was chugging soda, sleeping whenever I wanted to, eating however I wanted to, and thinking that the pills were gonna pick up all the slack. So after about a month of doing these daily handfuls of the pills and vitamins with no results at all, I finally quit. Now here I am, about seven years older and just a little bit wiser. So if you take away anything from this video, know this. Growing a beard is a very long process. 
And for a lot of you out there, there's a really good chance that you won't have a big thick beard until your 20s or even 30s. So be patient, be healthy, and don't be dumb like I was all those years ago. I'm Jack Malaco for Beard Brand. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing and liking. And until I see you next time, hey, keep on growing. Stop. Before you watch the next video, let me tell you, you are worth it. And what do I mean by that? I mean that you deserve to invest in yourself. You deserve to pamper yourself. You deserve to take care of your skin, your hair, your beard, and Beard Brand has your back with products, not just for your hair, your beard, and your skin, but also for your mind.